Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be going over how to clean, lubricate, disassemble, and reassemble your Taurus GX4 pistol. We're going to go over it as if this is your first gun because I suspect for a lot of people who are buying this pistol that is the case. So we'll walk you through it step by step and uh, hopefully if it is your first gun it will be a good source of information on how to maintain your pistol and do so safely. Before getting into actually cleaning the pistol we're just going to walk you through what I'm using here. It's nothing high tech. Um, we have some cut up pieces of t-shirt. Um, one thing if you're going to them up you want to err on the small side because you don't want anything getting stuck in your barrel that said there's also uh, 30 caliber or 9 millimeter patches that you can buy online that are pre-cut if you don't want to go through the hassle of cutting your own these two bottles here are filled with break free CLP which is a cleaner lubricant protectant or cleaner lubricant preservative depending on whom you ask I buy the big bottle and I just put them in the small bottles so that way they're easier to work with high-tech toothbrush here um, to <laughs> and then we have these tipped in polymer picks these are nice because they don't scratch up the finish of your gun like uh, metal metal dental picks would do and then we have this little bore guide rod here for pushing through your barrel now first thing we're going to do on our pistol is clear it so we're going to push this button here and take out the magazine and then at this point we're going to push up here on our slide release and slide lock make sure that we are clear inspect the chamber no magazine we are clear at this point we're gonna let the slide go home press in a safe direction you can take a screwdriver or a nine millimeter round and you're gonna rotate this one quarter turn like so and at that point your slide will come off your pistol you can take your guide rod and spring out and then take your barrel out and this is as far as we're gonna break it down for normal maintenance um, so with that, let's get into the process. We're going to take our frame here and put some CLP basically on the metal parts here and put that there. And we're going to take our toothbrush and just brush it all around, making sure to get on the rails here because that is a friction surface when it is operating. And anywhere that we can get to that has any sort of exposed area, metal, etc., cetera, uh, we're going to work that CLP in there and let it sit and do its job. Uh, one thing that CLP does very well is it breaks down carbon over time and it never really stops. So that's kind of one of the benefits. Even after you put it back together, it's still working to break down carbon. Take our slide and orient it down like so. Put a spray on the back, spray up front, and we're gonna do the same. What we're trying to avoid is getting a lot of oil in the striker channel there. Um, eventually, if you get too much in there, it can cause uh, light strikes or light primer strikes. So we want to try to avoid getting a lot in there. And again, we're paying attention here to the rails. And then on this uh, portion of the firearm, we're going to make sure that we get up under the extractor claw because you want to make sure that's clean and getting a good uh, grab on the actual uh, rim of the cartridge every time one enters the chamber. So that way it can pull it out with a good amount of force. And with the barrel here, we're going to take one of these patches and put a little bit of CLP on it like so and run that through the barrel using the rod like so and it's going to continue again to break down that carbon that's in there and put a little bit on the barrel itself and work that around also pay attention there to the crown of the barrel getting that carbon off and then here on our locking lugs additionally we want to make sure that we get the feed ramp there we'll set that off to the side and then here on our spring and guide rod, same thing, a little bit of CLP, work it all around. At this point, we are going to take, again, a clean patch or a piece of t-shirt and just get everything that we can get in there with our finger, wipe all that CLP up. You'll never get all of it. Like I said, it'll always kind of have a little bit of a surface layer there, which is a good thing. And then we'll take our pick and sort of work into the cracks that we can't just get with our finger. Again, paying special attention to those rails and then the metal surfaces here on the dust cover. And anywhere that you kind of can't get to or feel friction, uh, don't push past it. The springs in there um, don't need you know, to be pulled or pushed in any direction that they weren't designed to. And realistically, unless you plan on putting you know, 10,000 plus rounds to this pistol, you don't need to take this pistol down or get into any area that we're not gonna cover here uh, during this video. And you want to make sure that you get as much oil out of the magazine well as you can. It just doesn't need to be there. And then we're going to do the same thing here on the slide. Again, kind of get everything we can at first. 
and then work into those crevices with the pick. Once again, we're going to try to pay special attention to that extractor claw right there and uh, also the breech face. Make sure we get any carbon out of there and then up under that extractor claw, which I guarantee you there's carbon. Yeah, it may not be easy to tell on video with this green, but yep, yeah, carbon's out of there for sure. And we'll do the same on the exterior there of the barrel. You can see wear marks already starting here on the nitride finish, um, which is just not an issue at all. The barrel will show wear, it's normal. And I'm gonna run another patch here through the barrel. Now, how clean is clean is a question that always comes up in these videos. Uh, for me, what we're doing here would be just fine, but I know some of you guys want everything to come out completely carbon-free, like that wouldn't be acceptable for you, and that's okay. If that's you, feel free to do so, but this level of cleaning for me is perfectly fine um, for guns that I want to trust uh, with my life. Now we're going to get into reassembly and lubrication. So anywhere that you see wear, you definitely want to make sure that you have lubrication on there. So basically the entire barrel surface and just work that all the way around with our finger. And then up here you can see that wear there on the locking lug. So pay special attention to that area there. And then we're going to reinsert it into the pistol. When doing so, I like to put a drop up here as well because obviously there's plenty of wear there and uh, then additionally one here on the locking lug. For the spring, obviously the CLP that's on there is plenty adequate for use. And we're just gonna push forward and then push down until it locks into place like so. Now for lubricating the rails, you can either put your lubrication on the rails itself or inside on the slide. For demonstration purposes, we're just gonna do it here on the rails because it's easier to see and put it on each side in the groove there. And then also a little bit on top and then back here where our sear is as well, a little bit of that. And then you can see the wear starting to happen right there on the pistol. So we're gonna put a little bit of lubrication on there as well. And then to reassemble, you're just gonna line these grooves here up with the rails on the pistol like so. And we're going to pull back and there you go. That should reset. If it doesn't reset to the vertical position, you can put it back. But at this point, we are done with the cleaning and lubrication of our pistol. I always like to do a quick function check to make sure that everything's working correctly, wipe all the oil down on the outside. And to do that function check on this particular firearm, we're gonna run the action, point the safe direction, press the trigger, hold it to the rear, cycle the action with that trigger held to the rear, make sure the trigger resets. It does. So pistol is in working condition and ready to go. That's really all I got for you guys. If you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of tutorials here to help the new folks out who come into our community and don't really have any other resources to learn this type of information. Additionally, if you aren't already, you can follow me on the various social media platforms that you see here on your screen. And if you are subscribed and you've hit that notification bell, but you're not seeing uh, two to four videos a week, uh, you can sign up for my email list here on your screen. That email goes out at most twice a month, usually only once with all the videos since the last email went out. So that way there's no social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. And then if you're into buying accessories, firearms, whatever the case may be, you can also sign up for my daily deals email at the website here on your screen. As the name indicates, we send out the best deals of the day. So that way you guys can save some money and uh, pick up some good gear along the way as well. And that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.